Good morning, everybody, from the Orlando Science Center. Let's go do some science. We're here at the Science Center to check out Playing With Light, their new exhibit. I don't know, I'm kind of excited. It's all about light and how light reacts, I think. But yeah, like the, the shadows and stuff like that. Yeah, well, let's go find out. Yeah. Let's see, let's explore. Ooh, look at this. There's like, like a hall of lights. This is pretty interesting. Whoa, look at that. It's like lighting up with me. This is actually really awesome. Wow. I feel like I'm in a music video. Right? <laughs> this is actually, I kind of would stand back a little bit. <laughs> this is the screenshot right here. Is it? Hey, look at how crazy it is. I also really like how the circuit boards are called Evil Mad Science. Ooh, they have like a laser dodge mad. <laughs> a laser <laughs> dodge maze. Let's go in. Whoa, lasers everywhere. Oh my goodness gracious. All right, okay, do it. Do your limbo. All right. Catherine Zeta Jones. <laughs> she dips beneath lasers. Oh. Oh, you're doing it. I think you I think you hit a laser though already. It's there's a timer going off. Nope, you hit it. Sorry. Oh, see, this is exactly like what you guys are seeing through the camera. We can change different lenses and see what they do. Like that's a here's a yellow filter. Here's a Plano Convex, a Cayenne filter, double convex. Whoa, look at that. It's like upside down. Magenta, double convex. Same as it's, it's upside down again. And then here's just neutral. This is normal. Looking through it normal. What is it? It's all the different like lenses. Light investigation. Oh look, yeah, you've got like a laser in there. Yeah. See if you can make it bounce. Pop what? I don't know, off the top of the of the water. Oh, no, I broke it. Oh no, push the button. Oh, no. Okay, let's see here. Where does it start to bounce? I don't know if I'm making it bounce at all. Oh, on the ceiling? Oh yeah, there it is. I don't even know if you guys can see it up there, but it's bouncing off the top of the water and hitting the ceiling. Check this one out. It kind of shows off what fiber optics do. So there's a laser that's going through the stream of water and you can see it's bending the light down to here. And if I turn it up, it's still follows the stream of water. It's pretty neat. So if I even if I turn it all the way down, I feel like it'll still bend it almost 90 degrees. Look at that. That's pretty awesome. I feel like I'm the master of light right now. I control it. Oh, look, it looks like you're standing in a white light, but you're spreading it out into all the different colors back there. That's pretty neat. Okay, this kind of shows polarizing filters, so I wear polarized sunglasses, and you can see, it's pretty neat, like you can see how the polarization changes it. Look at my long legs. Oh, it's like a fun thing. <laughs> oh, okay. But it changes, I think. Oh wait, here, what shape do we want to do? <laughs> Let's do this shape. Wait, maybe it already is this shape. This one. Ooh. Whoa. Whoa. This is weird. What else? Here's a, a vertical ripple. This is very strange. Wow. Oh no! <laughs> oh no, my leg is gone. What happened to my leg? Check this out. So this splits your, splits your uh, shadow into the different colors. And then you can take the different colors here and combine them all together. Put them all, all in one circle. And then you can see that it makes white light. Oh. It's pretty neat, right? Where does that come from? Up here. Oh. We're in a really dark room. What is this? I don't know. Oh, maybe you could like write on the wall with it? Oh. I don't know. Oh yeah, look. Ooh. Oh. I can write stuff. I thought you were doing something else. Oh, that was a bunny. <laughs> I was making a bunny. Is that what it was? Yeah, see? That's the bunny rabbit. Let's do it. We're gonna hit the button and our shadows will be forever held on the wall. Not forever, but for a while. So push the button right now. Ah! Did it work? Oh, there's me. I don't know if you guys are in it or not, but I definitely was. This section's called computer vision. Hey, look, there's me. Oh, and there's like blocks coming out of me. Pew, 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 pew. Like a thumb. Oh no, that's because your hair. 
I don't understand what makes the like blocks come out, but here they are. Pew, pew. Oh no, they came out of my butt. That's pretty fun. This says to see in slow motion. So we turn this thing on, right? I don't know how this will work with the camera because it's like strobing it. Oh. Turn up, turn this knob over here, Jen. That's it looks nice. like it's going backwards for us. Well, but then the camera will be able to see because I'm filming in 60 frames. Look, you can see it change direction. Oh, well, that's weird. So I'm at around 61 flashes per second. It's pretty neat. Well, that was kind of like a crash course on the playing with lights exhibit. So let's head into kinetic zone. Check this out. There's a lightning tube here and you can shock each other. Oh, Did you feel it? Yeah. <laughs> You're shocking me. Oh wait, I'm supposed to react to that. Sorry, do it again. Ah! Oh. So we're going to charge up the capacitors with this and launch this ring up. This ring is gonna go, yeah, up in here. It's really hard to do, so I gotta get down into it. He's, he means business. Charging it up. So we're waiting for that to go all the way. Wow, you're doing it so fast. Gotta get it up to 750. Oh no. Gotta get your gonna, get, gonna get real sweaty. Oh no. Oh no, it gets harder once it gets up higher. Okay, here it goes. Yeah. Yeah, do it. Oh my gosh. Oh no. There it is. You did it. I'm so sweaty now. You know what? Science. Science. <laughs> Everybody is sitting in the chair and pulling themselves up using pulleys. Oh, don't forget to strap yourself in. Nice. All right, there you go. Pull yourself up. Oh, you're doing it. Uh, no. You're almost there. You did it. Now let, let, let go. We. He was just talking off. about how easy it was. Let's see how easy it is for you. I'm show off. I'm gonna do it with one hand. Oh yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, I like this thing. We get a bottle, right? And we put it inside this tube here. And then we crank up the air pressure, like way up. I'm gonna crank it all the way up to 30 PSI. Oh, it's getting harder. Let's see if we can get it up to 30, or at least 25. All right, let's do it. Hit the button. Whoa, we hit the top. Whoa. Ooh, look at this. Let's see if I can. I like how this ball is just like chilling on this turntable thing here. Whoa, oh, oh, I almost got it. I got it, I got it. Oh, there it goes. Look, it's doing its thing. Oh, it's staying on there. I'm like, I'm the king of this turntable. Oh, it went off. Oh, it's back on. Oh, it went off. All right, let's head up to some of the other exhibit halls and see what they have here. There's an area up on the fourth floor called Jurassic Ridge where you can dig for dinosaur bones and you can even dress up like a paleontologist. I'm one heck of a paleontologist if I do say so myself. Yeah, I always like seeing these. We see these on the internet all the time. What? Like oh, this. Oh, you're talking about the camera. Yeah, this Wait, whole thing. Should I make it rain? Should I make it rain. Ooh, look. See, here's what you gotta do though. Oh, look, we made like a little oh, lake on the yeah. top. Oh, wait, make it deeper? Make it deeper, yeah. Make a crater, this is Crater Lake. Oh no. Now make it rain again. Fill it up. You're doing it. What kind of sand is this though? It feels like my um it feels like my microdermabrasion stuff. Oh. I think it's just like a really, really fine sand blasting. Huh, or no, I think it's actually just sand. Well it's very sparkly. Yeah. But then look, I'm gonna make a river. Let it flow. There, you go. there it goes. Oh look, it's really coming out now. That was pretty neat. Flowing into the ocean. The circle of life is complete. You're in an earthquake. You're in the earthquake room. Jen, you remember when you were on the news? Yeah. Well, you're on the news again. Oh no, look, there's a snowman. He's so cold. I don't understand how it's gonna snow when it's 40 degrees outside. Cold air is pouring back into central Florida. Let's get right over to our weather expert at the Orlando Science Center with the latest. Oh, it's so cold. Oh, it's so 
Do you want to build a paper airplane? Push it forward. Oh, there it goes. I missed it. All right, my turn. You ready? Here we go. Oh, dang, it almost went. Oh, oh so oh. close. We're making new paper airplanes. All the ones that we've tried so far were ones that we found on the ground. Uh -huh. Now we're making new ones. All right, let's see how you did. Oh no, you gotta leave it behind you just a little bit. Now push the button. Now tap it forward. Oh. Oh, oh right through it. You did it. You completed mission number two, even though we built for mission number one. Don't tell anybody. This is like a POV. You ready? Yeah. Ooh. I missed it. You right just, you through You literally it. just hit it through. That's cheating. <laughs> I wanted to give you guys an overview of what they call Kids Town down here, and we'll put a link to the video where we went to this the last time. They gave us special permission to go in there the last time we came, even though we didn't have any kids with us, because normally you have to have kids to go in there. There's a, like a bunch of alligators down here. They're doing like a presentation over here at the reef. So that was just a quick trip to the Science Center, and you can see here on the way out, they have all these crystal hearts that are actually in the colors of the rainbow as a memorial to the victims of the Pulse tragedy. Totally forgot to show you guys before we came in, but we're inside of Hawkers now. And we got some crispy pork belly. We got some roti with like a nice, uh, what do you call this? A nice curry. We also got some, what do they call these? Summer rolls? Mm -hmm. They look good. It looks like they got chicken and some peanut sauce in it. There's Jen's pad thai. That looks pretty darn good. It is really good here. And then there's my udon. It looks really good. I like that they call it the like full name. It's like a yucky udon. But I like just calling it udon because it's not yucky. I don't know if I showed you guys this. I'm wearing my science shirt. Like, that's, that's how you know we went to the Orlando Science Center today, which, by the way, super fun. That new Playing With Light exhibit, it was cool. Like, I really like that entryway tunnel with all the lights that followed you around. I think that was my favorite part. I could have sat in there all day long and, like, filmed a music video, like I was a rap star or something like that. Uh, food at Hawkers is always good. If you are planning to come to Orlando, I would suggest going to the Orlando Science Center, and then, because Hawkers is right down the street, Stopping off at Hawker's and getting you some Asian street fare because it is delicious. And the Science Center is fun. You can spend an entire day there. We spent just a couple of hours, but if you were doing it, you could definitely spend the entire day there. So, with that being said, we are off, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price. 